Hi there, I'm Jacqueline Avero, where we go around the world searching out small production wines from producers that make these wines with passion. And we are here today with Aldo Clerico, one of these producers that makes Barolo wine in the Lange. Today, we are going to be tasting a lineup of three different vintages of his Barolos. 2016, 2017, and 2018. And if you would like to learn a little bit more about these three Barolos, we have a classic Barolo, we have a Barolo from Serralunga d'Alba, and a Barolo from Ginestra. If you would like to learn more about these wines, you can check out in the description below the videos where we tasted them separately. So now we're going to taste the uh, we're going to taste the 2016 Barolo. Aldo, would you do the honors? Yes. And could you tell us a little bit about the year? This is vintage, a very good vintage, and I think it's one of my favorite vintage. The quality are very super, and uh, the wine are very uh, big uh, tasting, a uh, big structure, and big powerful. We are very lucky because here are some here don't arrive ice from the sky, don't arrive storm, and uh, we are very happy. This is my classic Barolo. We, it's a blend from different vineyards uh, in the area of Monforte. Every year to make this wine, we have three, four kinds of Barolo, the same grapes and the same vintage. And after two years uh, in wood, we put in steam tank and we decide what are the best or what is the best. Every year change, because every year are not the same uh, because every year the vintage change. Some vintage when it's too much uh, sunny, too much dry, normally we prefer choose not in sorry in the sud or in the, at the top of the hill, but normally we, we prefer in the middle or up the hill, uh, down the hill, <laughs> sorry, or in uh, sud est, because in this area they have less stress of dry. Okay, so let's taste it. I love the nose, it's very, it's very fruity, very clean. I can see just very, off of the nose, yes, before very powerful, you, you very called it a anata classica, a classic year. Yes. And it seems, it seems on the nose very much yes, so. Yes, because normally for classic vintage is a, a normal vintage, when we cut the grapes very later during harvest. Normally, because Nebbiolo, the name Nebbiolo, are derived from foggy, because Nebbia in, it, in English is foggy. Normally, Nebbiolo, when we start to cut the grapes, here arrive the first foggy, and this is the best period to cut the grapes. And this is normally is a classical vintage, because it's too much later, and normally the wine are normally the best for the powerful, the structure, or for the perfume and for the stock more here in your cellar. Okay. Chin. Chin. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes, definitely a classic year. It's got a nice fruit, a tannin that is yes. definitely coming along nicely in the bottle. I would think like, um, like you were saying, it's a great, it's a great classic wine, yes. this 2016 Barolo. Normally a classic vintage, we need a little bit more time to become okay for drinking. Uh, are very different than a, a, and some other vintage. For example, the next vintage, 17, we finish very early because okay. this year arrive freezing during spring and some part of the plant freezing dead and this year we have no more grapes no more quantity and we needed to cut the grapes very early okay because uh, we don't need too much alcohol because the plant work with no more grapes we make only alcohol when the alcohol is too much we needed to cut the grape because we don't make one eight percent, twenty percent of alcohol, and we needed to cut them. Normally, this vintage, the wine, 
are okay to drink first because the tanning are a little bit soft, a little bit more easy to drink than a normal vintage. So the 2017, yes. which will taste next. We'll taste the 2017 Let's next. Go. All right, so we now have 2017. Yes. And you were saying before that the tannins are a little bit softer. Yes. A little so bit it's... softer, a little bit uh, sweet mm -hmm. than the uh, 2016. Okay. Because the harvest we finish very early. Okay. And normally when the wind, uh, the harvest finish very early, the tannins are a little bit softer, a little bit more easy to drink than a normal vintage. Okay. This is uh, okay to drink first, then a normal vintage. Okay. A very good uh, powerful perfume and uh, a little bit uh, sweet tanning than the other vintage. I can definitely feel that difference in the tannins. You know, talking yes, about it. But can, uh, mm -hmm. every vintage are different because we work uh, out with the climate and every year the climate change. We it's... don't make Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola <laughs> every year are the same. Right. Here, no, it's impossible to find uh, wine. Well, that's the beauty of wine is that, you know, wines, small production wines like yours, they, they change every year. They're yes. just like a little signature of mother nature because uh, the work in the vineyard for me are the same every year it don't change it continue the same method of my grandparent or my mm -hmm. but uh, change the climate inf influence too much, influences mm -hmm. too much for the quality for the grapes for everything So 2017, softer tannins and ready to drink a little bit younger. Yes. <clears throat> hmm. mm -hmm. Still delicious though. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we've got 2018 in our glass of Aldo's classic Barolo. And let's have a look at it. So this year was, how was this this year? This, this year vintage? was a, a normal year. Mm -hmm. It's raining, sunning, but not so much. It's a normal. Okay. And uh, the harvest was very later. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are very lucky because you have a very good wine, more stronger, more powerful, more intensive. We are very lucky because the weather, weather had passed so much. <laughs> it was a good year for the weather then. Well, let's see. Mmm. You enjoy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank very, you much. very much. Very much, yes. <clears throat> yes, this 2018 is... It's got a lovely, it's got the lovely tannins coming through. It's very balanced. I mean, you yes. can kind of see what you were saying that the rain was just right, the sun was just right, because the wine comes out nice and structured and balanced and just a fabulous Barolo. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on down the line, we now have our Seralunga Barolo to try. So the first Barolo was from the Monforte d'Alba area, and this one is from the Saralunga d'Alba yes. area. So first we're going to start off tasting the 2016, okay. right? Should we go? Yes. Would you? Thank you. This is na, another Barolo from another village, different village. The first Barolo is a blend of different vigna. All the vigna are from the Ara Monforte. But for Saralunga, it's impossible blend because I have only one vigna here and I use the name of Saralunga. It's impossible blend with other wine, other Barolo with other village. And in my case, it's only one vigna and the stop. Okay. The first Barolo, the black label, mm -hmm. the classic Barolo, stay some part in barrack and some part in barrel. Barolo from Saralunga stay only in a big, in a barrel. Oh are very different wine I, I, because it changes a little bit the, the soil. Okay. In from Saralunga you have a little bit uh, sand than mm -hmm. me. Normally Saralunga have a more uh, spice, 
spezie. Oh, a little bit more spicy. More spicy mm -hmm. than um, wine from Monforte. And I think Sararunga have more uh, longer holding than okay. Monforte. Okay, yeah. It, Very special uh, it wine. Can, it can age a little bit yes. longer. Okay. So we're back to 2016, which was our Anata Classica, our yes. classic year. So this is bound to be a treat. Mmm. Wow, the fruit is so intense yes. here. Mm. A little bit pepper, spice. I can, I can yes. smell the spices that you were talking about. Mm. Wow. Okay. More longer when mm -hmm. you're tasting, more, more acidity. Compared to the last Barolo, yeah, it's got a lot yes. more, a lot more of a finish to yes. it, like you were saying. Absolutely. <clears throat> wow. So that comes seeing as these are both from the same vintage, the 2016. Yes. What we're tasting is the difference in the soils yes. and the difference of the area coming from a different part of yes. the Barolo Valley, because, basically. Uh, change too much the soil, mm -hmm. but uh, in the same uh, hill maybe change the soil, in the same vigna, some part is uh, change than another. And uh, from Monforte from Saralunga the soil are, are different. Here are more stronger from Saralunga, you have uh, a little bit of sand, okay. and uh, for this change too much the wine. Okay, wow. Because at the soil make perfume for the wine. Mm -hmm. Do you ever notice a difference in the weather between Saralunga and Monforte? Do you notice that maybe one is a little bit more susceptible to storms? Or uh, is are the same here. They pretty we much... are very classical vintage. We mm -hmm. cut the graves very later. And uh, I'm really lucky because don't arrive storm to destroy everything. <laughs> At Samir in Mayara, we are very lucky. Yeah. All right. So now we have the 2017 yes. Barolo Saralunga to taste. Yes. All right. Perfect. Put that in there and ching. Ching. <laughs> These vintage from Saralunga are very sunny vintage because mm -hmm. are the same from Monforte. The same vintage are more sunny, more dry, and we finish very early to cut the grapes. Okay. Because uh, at the end of September, the plant have a lot of stress of water. They finish to work. Okay. They don't take nutrient from the soil mm -hmm. to help the grape for maturation and uh, the grapes start to dry. And we need to cut because we don't need a lot of alcohol because mm -hmm. after this, if stay too much, these wines are not so balanced. Are more alcohol, only alcohol. And some vintage, very sunny, very dry. And when the plant have a lot of problem with water, we need to cut. Okay, so it's 2017 where there was a problem, a little bit of the uh, yes, drought but, kind of yes. situation almost. Wow, okay. But I think uh, this is a little bit okay to drink first mm -hmm. because in this winter the tanning are a little bit soft, a little bit uh, more easy to drink mm -hmm. than a normal winter. Okay, and did Serra Lunga suffer from the same frost? That hurt Monforte in 2017? No, because uh, in this uh, vineyard are a different uh, attitude okay. and we don't have uh, no more problem for freezing. In Monforte we have uh, more problem for freezing, but okay. in Sierra Lunga we have no problem for freezing. We, we have only problem for the dry. Okay. Is it a higher or lower altitude than it's Monforte? A, where I have the vineyard is a bit higher than Monforte. Okay, okay. So let's taste 2017. Ching. Hmm. 
it's it's so interesting to taste these 2016 and 2017 and eventually 2018 vintages back to back like this because you really get a chance to see the fluctuations and the changes that the weather can make to a wine. When you just taste a single wine, maybe you don't notice it, but tasting them like this in a, in a flight is really a great way to be able to learn firsthand yes. these differences and to be able to analyze. Every and year has different. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Two years, three years are the same. Every year change. It's a little bit because different. Because we make wine with nature. <laughs> it's nature wine. It's nature. <laughs> <laughs> So here again, 2017, a good a good year yes. to drink young. Yes, but we are lucky because our Samir here don't see no raining too much, not as from the sky. We are very lucky mm -hmm. because with me, I try to do all the best in Vigna for the grace, for the plant. After the nature, it's possible to destroy everything in only some minute. But I don't decide me. Perfect. It's another another people you decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we are going to taste the Barolo Serra Lunga 2018. Thanks. Yep. All right. Perfect. All right, so back to 2018, where this, when... this vintage was a very classical vintage. We cut the grape very later mm -hmm. because during the season it's raining, it's sunny, but not so much sunny and rainy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And we prefer waiting. In some vintage, when it's possible, normally we prefer waiting more longer than the other <clears throat> because in this case the wine have more perfume, more intensive par perfume. So uh, by waiting with the harvest you can get more, a little bit more bouquet from yes. the wine. Okay. Yes. Mm, in fact, this wine has very, in, uh, a lot of perfume. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fruits, those spices. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think the wine from Serra Lunga are different than the other. They have a lot of spice. And I, it has a nice tannin, and I think yes. that even though it's a year younger than the 2017 we just yes. tasted, the tannins are still really well, they've, they've aged yes. well. It's, it's a little bit almost ahead of its time. And a very good of. vintage. Mm -hmm. the 20, is, this uh, 2018. super vintage. This 2018 is shaping up lovely. Thank you so much, Aldo. <laughs> this has been an amazing it's opportunity <laughs> to be able to taste this 2016, 2017, and 2018 Barolo from Monforte d'Alba and from Serra Lunga. Yes. And to be able to not only compare and contrast different years, but the different years between the vineyards themselves as well has been an amazing opportunity yes. and it's been wonderful thank you <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs> and uh, every year is changing because uh, my work i'm it depends too much for the weather it all comes down to mother nature <laughs> yes i don't decide anything <laughs> <laughs> You only try, don't uh, try too much, don't uh, dry too much, but after I don't know the future. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you. Ching. Ching. <laughs> So that was the 2016, 2017, and 2018 of the Barolo Classico from Monforte d'Alba and the Barolo Saradunga d'Alba from Aldo Clerico. And it has been an amazing experience to be able to taste these vintages one after the other all together and really taste the difference of Mother Nature and how she works on the wine. So, you can check out these wines, all available in the Vero shop, in the description below on verovino.com. And try for yourselves this little experiment 
of multiple vintages in one tasting. And let us know in the comments below what you think the differences between the vintages are. I'll see you with the next video. And in the meantime, cheers. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ciao. ciao. <laughs>